Hello, everybody, and welcome to this presentation. My name is Hamdi Mubarak from Qatar Computing Research Institute, QCRI, and I'll present my work with colleagues Amir, Shamur, and Ahmed, titled uh, Qasr QCRI Al Jazeera Speech Resource, a large scale annotated Arabic speech corpus. So, in the first part, I'll talk about uh, the data collection and annotation, and in the second part, my colleague Shamur will talk about the experiments. Okay. So development of large scale annotated corpora can help improving speech and NLP tools. Tools for modern standard Arabic or MSA in short are most accurate than dialectal Arabic DE, mainly because we have more resources for uh, MSA. Our objective is to release the first Arabic speech and NLP corpus to study spoken MSA and DE. In our uh, opinion, existing corpora are missing the link between the two different modalities. In Custer, we released 2,000 hours of speech data with lightly supervised transcription and segmentation into short segments. And we also provide information for the speaker identification and linking, punctuation, restoration, name, the integration, and code switching. Uh, the first transcribed Arabic uh, dialect data set was Call Home, followed by Gale and Transact, where they re released uh, 251 hours of uh, Arabic data. And the first milestone uh, uh, in the speech, Arabic speech uh, domain was the MGB, Multi-Genre Broadcast uh, Challenge, where we uh, released uh, 1,200 hours of uh, speech data and their transcription. Uh, this was followed by MGB3 and MGB5 for Egyptian and uh, Moroccan uh, Arabic speech data. We have also Common Voice, uh, where we, they provide uh, 49 hours of MSA speech data. Uh, our CASR dataset is the largest multi-dialectal uh, corpus with linguistically motivated segmentation. It contains 2,000 hours, and also we provide resources for benchmarking, NER, code switching, and punctuation history. Uh, for data collection, we obtained uh, uh, the archive from Al Jazeera news channel, which contains uh, episodes from uh, the years 2014 uh, uh, up to 2015. It contains 4,000 episodes from different programs, uh, from different domains like politics, uh, society, economy, etc. Each episode has uh, audio, audio wave, manual transcription, and metadata. As we can see from this uh, figure, we have the program name, we have the episode title, and the anchor speaker, and guest speakers, topics, etc. Then followed by uh, the real transcription. Uh, the data problems that we uh, faced are inconsistency in speaker names, metadata is not complete, we have spelling mistakes, the transcription is not verbatim, etc. For example, uh, Barack Obama is written in many different ways, including uh, some spelling mistakes, and we need to standardize and revise uh, all the person names uh, across the whole corpus. For the alignment, we uh, run our ASR for each episode, and we converted Al Jazeera and the ASR into uh, two long sequences of words, and we run uh, our we run Smith-Waterman algorithm for alignment, and uh, we modify the algorithm to accept approximate match. As we can see from Figure Four, that 20 percent, 27 percent of the segments have exact match between ASR and Al Jazeera, and majority of the segments have partial or approximate match and some of them uh, ha have zero match. So for each word, we need to obtain the speaker information from Al Jazeera transcription and final information from the ASR. The main challenge, challenges are code switching between MSA and dialects. Uh, the transcription is not verbatim. We have correction, hesitation, uh, uh, repetition, etc., And we have also spelling and grammar errors and uh, usage of foreign languages, mainly English and French, and also we have overlapped speech, which is common uh, in conversation. After the alignment, we uh, segmented the text into shorter segments by considering these factors. Uh, surface factors, uh, for example, we prefer segments that have uh, three to ten words and consider punctuation marks uh, that appear in the original transcription. We, considers, we considered also uh, the dialogue information with the speaker change between uh, the segments, and we consider the acoustic information, uh, for example, the, uh, when the silence duration is uh, more than uh, 150 milliseconds, this is a trigger for a possible end of segments. And we also consider linguistic information where we avoid uh, splitting in the middle of named entities, uh, noun phrases and adjective phrases, 
in the MGB2, we found many cases like uh, United States in segment I and of America in the next segment. In this uh, version of uh, data, CASR, we tried as much as possible to avoid such incorrect uh, segmentation. Also, we extracted a list of frequent words that are not followed by any punctuation in a corpus of 130 million words to avoid splitting after them. Uh, for example, words like in leads to or towards. This is the sample output from CASR in, in XML format. In the beginning of each, uh, uh, each uh, episode, we provide the speaker information, speaker ID, the person name as appears in the, in the episode, followed by a normalized name across the whole corpus, and the gender information and whether this person is unique or not. Uh, some speakers are not unique, for example, uh, one of the protesters. Then we provide the segment information, we start the, we, we provide the start time and end time for each segment, uh, the speaker, and also the word error rate, and then the transcription uh, of the segment. These are the final statistics of the corpus. We have 2,000 uh, uh, hours uh, coming from uh, 3,500 uh, episodes, and the average episode duration is 32 minutes. In total, we have 1.6 million segments, and the segment duration uh, on the average is four seconds, and 84% uh, of the segments are between two and six seconds, uh, very short as we can see. And also uh, the average segment length in terms of text, uh, textual words is uh, nine words, and 80% of the segments have uh, length between five and 11 words. Uh, uh, the corpus contains 14.3 uh, million words, and uh, the unique words are uh, 360K. Uh, in total, we have uh, almost uh, 28 uh, key speakers, and the unique speakers are 11 key. We annotated the, the most common uh, speakers who have at least 20 segments, and we ended up with uh, 1,100 uh, male speakers, and they appear in 1.2 million segments, and this represents 69% of the whole segments in the, whole, in the corpus. And we have 68 female speakers, and they appear in 99 key segments, and this represents 6% uh, of the corpus. Uh, for code switching, we have two kinds of code switching between MSA and dialect, and also between Arabic and English. For the last type, we have 6K segments in total, and the code mixing index uh, across the whole corpus is the 30.5. And in majority of the segments, we have two switching points, for example, between Arabic, then English, then Arabic again. And uh, in this example, we show a short segment that have uh, many code switching points. Now my colleague Shamur will talk about the experiments part. Thank you. I'm Shamur, and I will now discuss our experiments for benchmarking the CASA dataset. We first use CASA to train an end-to-end -end transformer ASR model and compare it with the MGB ASR. We noticed a comparable performance with lower substitution and insertion rate with respect to MGB. We also noticed that CASA ASR is far more capable of handling code switching than the in MGB ASR. Next, we train the Arabic punctuation restoration system using the top three most frequent punctuation present in the dataset. We see a highly imbalanced distribution, which is usually expected for spoken data and especially for Arabic where punctuation are rarely used in spoken conversation. So to create the baseline, we train a simple transformer by LSTA model using pre-trained Arabic. Even with such skewed distribution, we found a decent performance for questions and full stop. We also noticed a poor performance in comma and observed that the comma can easily be substituted for other labels in our model and we believe also in real-time scenario for Arabic. Our next task is speaker verification. Here, using the embedding extracted from a CNN-based pre-trained speaker model, we verify if two speech segments, A and B, are from same speaker or not. For the task, we selected a subset of 40 most frequent anchors and guest speakers. 
and then created verification pair maintaining speakers of same gender, similar segment length, among others. We designed these pairs for each speaker roles, like anchors, guests, and their combination, and noticed it is easy to verify guest speakers than the anchors. This is because of the nature of the broadcast news domain. We believe that the anchor speech is mostly clean, planned, and often follows the same style, unlike our guest speakers. As for our next task, we use pre-trained ADI models to understand the dialectal nature presence in Kasser. For this, we use the same 40 speakers from speaker verification task and select 100 segments for each of them. We then pass these segments through multiple classifiers for both acoustic and lexical model. We first categorize the segment as dialectal Arabic or MSA. If the segment is dialectal, we then further classify it to find the country of the dialect. We noticed that there is an agreement between the model, it is both acoustic and lexical. There is an agreement of around 68%. Overall, we observe that the anchor speaks mostly in MSA, whereas guest speakers use dialectal Arabic even when using MSA words. That we observed it is easy to classify guest speakers' nationality than anchors. As for our next task, here we explore how NMP model performs in spoken content. For this, we compare the performance of a name entity recognition system using both news text and spoken conversations. We prepare the spoken test set by re-annotated MGB2 tests for basic entity types. And we notice that only 7% of the data contains such entities like person, location, organization, among others. Then we use the pre-trained Farase NER to evaluate the MGB2 test set and compare it with standard Arabic NER corpus collected from news articles. From our result, we notice that a significant drop of 15% in NER performance. This indicates the need to enhance the current NLP models for handling spoken dataset. And we believe the CASA dataset gives such opportunity to the NLP community. So to conclude, we first introduced the largest Arabic speech corpus with multiple layers of information and different code switching phenomena. Then we showcase the usability of the data in ASR, punctuation restoration, dialect identification, and speaker recognition model. We also took this opportunity to explore the in-ear performance used in spoken content and show how CASA data can help the NLP community to enrich such models. And we finally released the data for research purpose. This data can be obtained from Arabic speech portal. Thank you all and I hope to see you all in the live session.